Hey, this is Charles with Good Green Everything, and today we're going to be making some kale chips. You've got your kale, and then the stuff for the sauce right here. Quickly, the ingredients for the sauce are one fourth tablespoon salt, bell pepper, one lemon juice from one lemon, one garlic clove, walnuts, or a walnut like nut and what makes the whole cheese flavor of the, the kale chips taste so good is the nutritional yeast so I'm gonna get some of this stuff, stuff put together and I'll be right back so you got everything in the blender ready to go the bell pepper the yeast, the salt, the lemon Oop, forgot one thing, got the garlic forgot the garlic clove. Oop, there it goes. And now we're gonna sit there. <laughs> So we have our sauce here and basically blended all those ingredients up. And this is a base. You can add much more spices. You can add chipotle. You can add red, red pe pepper chili flakes. You can add curry. You can add thyme. Uh, chocolate I've seen. Spirulina. Superfoods if you like. We're going to stick with the basics. This is going to be more savory than sweet. So I'm going to basically put this in here and then add those in there and then it's going to marinate for about 30 to 60 minutes so we got our kale chips in the mixing bowl and we're going to marinate for about 30 to 60 minutes and uh, then we're going to toss them up a little bit more and then we're going to put them in over into the, the dehydrator over there All right. So we have our kale chips on our dehydrator sheets and these ones are the grates so they have the holes in them and you, the air comes up through the bottom as well. Helps it so that it heats from beneath as well as above. And I have three out here and I'm going to put them in that dehydrator right over there. And then they're going to stay in there for about 18 hours according to the recipe but sometimes a little bit earlier than that since there's only three. Alright, 